The thought crept up into my head that on her next birthday, she can't have sex with me since I wouldn't be 18 and she will. Ask Reddit on Reddit Rundown. What's your worst experience of post-nut clarity? First time ever doing the sex. Right after I bust, her and I are just lying there looking into each other's eyes when a terrible thought enters my head. This girl looks just like Nicolas Cage. And now the entire moment is ruined for me every time I see him in a movie. As I was laying there post-nut, it suddenly occurred to me that I'd just had unprotected sex with a woman I hardly knew in a country with very high rates of HIV infection. When I got home, I got tested and luckily was free of STIs and considered it a lesson learned. This was in 2006 and I've never gone in raw with a random since. Booze and cocaine can really mess with your judgment. When I was in college I shared an apartment with my best friend from high school, we had been best friends since elementary school, did everything together. My girlfriend came over one night and the three of us got completely wasted. So eventually me and my girlfriend stagger back to my bedroom. My best friend, who was sitting on the couch, asked where we were going. I drunkenly yell, we're gonna bang. Come see how to do it right. So, me and my girlfriend start going at it. Eventually I blow my load, which is surprisingly difficult when you're drunk and took a good half hour, not my best performance by any measure, but it had the added effect of sobering me up a bit. That's when I notice my best friend, who I had completely forgotten about, standing at the foot of the bed, pants around his ankles just watching us go at it and cranking away. I managed to slur out, what the hell are you doing? And he sputters, you told me to. I thought you were cool with it. Needless to say, the look of shame that passed between the two of us, my limp junk laying on my stomach dripping jizz and him standing there holding his mid-stroke was epic. The next day was very uncomfortable, after going all day avoiding eye contact, I finally muttered, let us never speak of last night again. Decided to get naked and go outside in the middle of the night and jerk off in the street for the thrill of getting caught. I nutted and realized what the hell I was doing and scuttled back inside as fast as I could. Horny brain is a serious condition. Somebody replied. Upvote for getting nutted and scuttled into the same sentence. I feel a new term coming out of this. Something like, her, dude totally nut scuttled, when he heard the garage door open. Her, the guy totally scuttle nutted, when my sister opened the front door. I just remember desperately realizing that if I never saw them again, it would be too soon. I wanted to pull the hands off the clock and go back in time. More than anything I wanted her out of my bedroom, right now. Then I realized that I was being impossibly cruel so I laid in my bed for the whole night and drove her home in the morning. This involves me hiding how bad my flu symptoms were. I was running a fever and she was taking care of me. During a moment of intimacy, I got hard and pressed into her. She took that as go time and I let her. The instant I nut I realized the mistake. I got the wave of exhaustion and pain all over my body and I realized how dehydrated I was. She was happy. I was dying. I realized the girl was completely untrustworthy and definitely wasn't on birth control based on prior conversations where I thought, that's weird, I know more about how birth control works than she does. But I don't have a kid and that was 7 to 8 years ago, so I got lucky. I was trying to sleep with my friend's stripper mom. Her mom specifically kept saying I really think you should wear something. I've been with a lot of people. And I just kept laughing it off. She was very sure I should. Well? I definitely should have. When I was 16, I had some non-penetration fun with my friend's mom. She came on to me when I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night. I had thought about it because she was attractive and didn't stop it when she made an attempt. The worst thing wasn't that I didn't like what I did, or that I wasn't into getting off. The worst thing is that I destroyed a friendship to jizz on his mom's chest. I ruined a friendship that day, even though he never found out, but I can't hang out with him either. I had a girlfriend in college for three years, on and off due to her semester abroad and cheating on me once. Coming back to college for senior year, our friends had a huge party and we ended up sleeping together again. 
I knew it wasn't my best judgment but it was still the longest relationship I ever had. The morning after the party, I woke up next to her, but my flatmate was yelling from the living room, get out here you have to see this. It was the morning of September 11, 2001. I walked into the living room to see the second plane hit the Twin Towers. I realized how much I actually hated this dude. Like not hating the sex, but like I couldn't stand the dude at all. It was the weirdest thing because he felt the same exact way about me afterwards, despite really having a fun time with all of our friends in the months leading up to the actual intimacy. It was so awkward every time we would have to hang out afterwards. Woke up to the sight of the goddamn donkey I had apparently met at a bar, left my socks and underwear behind so I didn't have to turn on the light and wake her up. Popped the jeep in neutral and coasted out of her neighborhood. Ran into her at Target a few weeks later and we both kind of stared and then said nope and walked away. In high school I had been trying to get with this girl over the course of four years. Finally senior year she agreed to hang out. When she got there, she was about business we started kissing and she starts dry humping me. Two minutes into kissing I bust a nut and am immediately disgusted by the girl for some reason. I stop her and tell her I have a GF, which I don't, she gets off of me and is enraged. I don't blame her, but it made for an awkward car ride home to drop her off. She never spoke to me or acknowledged my presence again. It wasn't immediately post nut but after doing the deed with this person I was dating a couple times, I realized I wasn't very interested in her. I didn't realize how shallow I was. I haven't bothered pursuing dating since. I was 26 at the time and hanging with an on again, off again FWB, it had been off for some time at that point, after I had started seeing someone else. Had a couple beers, and that mixed with cold meds clouded my judgment a bit. Long story short, wound up having sex with her and regretting it the moment I dropped my load. I stopped even talking to her shortly after that. Never told the new girlfriend about it, and we lasted about a year. She's still going to keep abusing me. She still had sex with someone else. Once the red flags point to her being an abuser slash narcissist, run, no matter what you or she tries to convince you of. Well, I linked up with girl during lockdown last year when I was 15, she was 17 we went to my farmhouse and banged for hours on end, after nutting all over her we got showered and slept in bed next to each other and the thought crept up into my head that on her next birthday she can't have sex with me since I wouldn't be 18 and she will, and that thought just made my stomach churn from inside. The next day I dropped her back off in the city on the quad bike and told her that I just want to be friends and drove off to my parents townhouse. Not me but I remember a fella I went to college with telling us about his horrifying experience when he discovered that he could watch VR porn through the headset. Best thing since sliced bread he claimed, earphones make it a more immersive experience he claimed. All till he was going at himself with a pair of legs in the air thinking he was home alone. He was not home alone. Only after he had reached euphoria did he pause the film to the laughter of his brother and clicks of the camera. Poor guy, never lived it down. So, I met this girl that lives around two blocks away from my house. She's hot and I got this fantasy about getting her pregnant, so we talked, we clicked and we had unprotected sex, and I came in her so after that moment post nut clarity hits me and I thought what the hell did I just do? I don't want a kid. It's been 5 months and yes, she is now pregnant. I found that I truly love my girlfriend and proposed to her. She said yes as an act of kindness. Later she explained that it was kind of weird to propose after sex and that I should ask again later when we weren't having our after sex moment. I had sex with this girl once and had a panic attack afterward and moved across the country. Longer version is that I had moved across the country on my own without a job lined up. Started dating this girl and went on a trip with her to a bed and breakfast. After the sex I just snapped and all of the WTF am I even doing here, on my own, no job, just effing around? Feelings ran through me. I moved back home and decided to go to grad school after. The random hookup was just the catalyst I needed to realize I was going down the wrong path. I remember having a one night stand with a girl I crushed hard on through high school, yay me, she was about 4 years older than me liked a bit of a drink and was a single mum and still hot. 
We were both hammered drunk but I distinctly remember the sex being awesome. So about halfway through we were in between rounds and just laying there and she starts half crying half giggling and asking why she can't find a man to love her. In my drunken state I remember saying don't be harsh on yourself we only just met thankfully the cheeky chappy approach worked and we carried on shagging until the sun came up and she fell asleep. It was at that point I thought time to go. Thankfully the sober version of her was far calmer. We both had a lot going on in life so didn't pursue things any further. Thanks for listening to Reddit Rundown, give a thumbs up and subscribe, and help me get to 1000 subs. Leave a comment below on what kind of topics or stories you would like to hear. You can also check out other videos on my channel. Thanks and have an awesome day.